tragic. You try to cut yourself in half, but this ain't magic. In fact, it's something far more dark and more dramatic. Self-harm, that's what they call it, because it just affects you. It's your life, your body, so you can choose what you do. And if one day you can't rein it in, and of your last breath you are the only witness, then so be it, because it's your last breath and it's nobody else's business. But then, what about your little sister? I mean, you think your life's been bad. And by no means am I belittling that, because I know the troubles you've had. But a teen finding out a big sister chose death over life. Finding out that instead of turning to her of your problems, you turned to a knife. That's a whole lot of pain to deal with and a whole lot of damage. And the only role model she has now is little more than words engraved in granite. But as you said before, this just affects you. It's your life, your body, so you can choose what you do. And if one day you can't rein it in, and of your last breath you are the only witness, then so be it, because it's your last breath and it's nobody else's business. But then, what about your parents? God knows they've done what they can to support. Yeah, you didn't grow up in a mansion, but they gave you the best life they could afford. And the moment that last bit of life trickles out in your lungs, cease to breathe, they've found the most important task that they will ever receive. They've found to give their child a life that's worth living. And that's a failure that as long as they live, of themselves is unforgiving. But as you said before, this just affects you.